Hey, I'm Eric Blake. I'm a boat builder at Brooklyn Boatyard. Years ago, good friends and I started Off Center Harbor to bring you inside the world of classic boats, bring you inside places like this. Uh, if you like the video, there's hundreds more. Just follow the link in the description below. Because we love boats, it's easy to think our kids will love them too. And that we can simply put them out there and off they'll go, seamlessly. Well, it's usually not that easy. Hey Henry, are you? what do you think about rowing so far? Is it something you'd like to do? Not so far. Not, not so, so far. far? Well, let's see if we can work on that. You know, a little boat like this, not too, and not too long, you're going to be able to take your mom and dad's little rowboat and row over to Chatto and run around with Sai and have a little picnic. It's a great way to get yourself out to, out on the water and to an island, but it's... This is my first time doing it. That is, that is why we're at the pond. Nothing like being in a little enclosed pond like this where we can be right in the water with you to learn. It's a lot better here than down on the, you know, when it's rough and windy down in the harbor and there's boats everywhere. There's no boats to hit, there's no waves to go over the top of, there's no wind to contend with. So we're gonna, we're gonna uh, see if we can't show you how right here, okay? So here are a few things we've learned from old timers who've taught lots of kids to get started. First off, it's not really about transmitting information, it's more about striking a spark. The feel of oars as they bite into the water, however tentatively. The whiff of adventure. A sense of command. The novelty value for the student is as high as it gets. And for the parent, tuning in closely to watch that novelty value in a child can be just as thrilling. And you want to grab those oars over the top. Let me see your hand that okay and then there you go flip your hand over just like that and the idea is that you put the oars in and pull them and then you have to get those oars up and out of the water and then you pull again right just like that so let's take one lap around and I'm gonna have my hands on yours okay and then when we come back around you're gonna take it from there Right? So just nice, you don't have to pull too hard, just nice little short strokes, you're doing it. Dada. A safe setting allows grown-up instructors the chance to dial back their presence. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna let go. It seems like uh, with a lot of things, uh, they have to do a certain amount of windmilling. You know, feel like they're in control of the boat before they can, it, before their mind really uh, can wrap around uh, finessing it. Yeah, it happened more when, when there was no supervision and really no grown up presence in the thing. There was a lot of. There was a lot of windmilling, a lot of, a lot, quite a lot of failure on the way to, to getting hold of it. But it's quite a challenge, you know, with whatever means you use to be out in the boat all by yourself with, with nothing but a pair of oars and get yourself from here to there. And uh, no matter how, no matter what, style doesn't enter into it at that point. Uh, controlling your location and reaching your objective is what is all what, the, what those brain cells are working on. Another couple days of Cyrus pulling on those oars and windmilling, he's going to want to move to the next step. Then, it's all about the fun of going somewhere. 
that sense of command and the feeling of adventure can happen in minutes with oars and can take years with the complexities added under sail. In the struggle for mastery and in the taking of command, we give kids a pathway towards self-reliance. They learn that actions have consequences and they learn that dreams can hold actual destinations. All in the simple act of pushing off from the dock. Last winter, we planted the seed that our kids could go off on their own to an island the following summer. Imagine the independence the idea engendered. Imagine how it transformed the way they began to think about the boats and the water. Sailboats, I guess. When they arrived on their island, and it was theirs by then, it wasn't an hour before they began creating stories and games with just about any little thing they could get afloat. I guess when you get, when you're in the boat, you're in your same boat a lot, you get used to it more. You know how it works. Well, it kind of helped, like, instead of the adults to tell you, you could, like, kind of figure it out yourself. If I learn by myself, like, learn something, then I, I know it a little more because I've done it. And the grown ups just say, good luck. <laughs> You did? Yeah. Thanks for watching this video by Off Center Harbor. If you liked it, there's hundreds more. Just follow the link in the description below.